Hello and welcome guys, I am Sergio and let's continue our campaign in Idle Hands. Continue. This is the third mission from the campaign. Alright, so today's advice is not sure of the resource cost of each type of furling, hover over the origin stone and see. Alright, people power. It won't be long before you'll have to face the enemy. So you need to learn how to fight back. Before you can build an army, you need weapons. You can't make weapons without iron. There are several ore deposits in the hills around this village. Find one and lower the land to fully reveal it. Alright. So, um... Uh... Now push the land down to expose the iron ore. This is the iron guys, you basically have three, uh, three places uh, near your territory that has iron. This is one, this is the second, this is the third. I'm gonna use this one, it's, it's not important which one you choose. Okay. You're going to need a blacksmith to turn that iron into weapons. Go to the origin stone and select the dark blue blacksmith icon to assign one. Yes, yeah, so basically you you had to make the land flat in order for your blacksmiths to be able to take iron from that iron, let's call it stone, it looks like, uh, well, iron mineral then. Okay, let's go to the origin stone and let's press here to make a blacksmith. As you can see, the blacksmith requires six wood let's do it great here's some iron to get you started select the red shield and spear symbol to create your first soldier all right let's create our first soldier by clicking on this um, button so the soldier requires three iron and three wood you can direct your soldiers around the map by placing a totem in the ground Move a short distance away from the village and find a place to send your new soldier. Alright then, let's click back on the icon of the origin stone to get out of the origin stone and uh, to be able to Select move over the, the map. Totem icon in the top left of the screen to plant your totem in the ground. Okay, so um, we need to use the totem in order to tell our soldiers where to go and fight. Okay, because... Otherwise, they won't know where to go. So, let's put a totem here. If you place your totem inside the enemy borders, your soldiers will attack. Place it in your village to make them defend your borders. Or place it anywhere else to send your soldiers to that location. When you have your totem placed, using the cycle icon in the top left of the screen will cycle between it your origin stone and your original location you can also use the shift key your powers use a lot of mana so wouldn't it be great if there was a way to boost it luckily you can turn one of your followers into a priest to inspire your followers go to the origin stone at the center of your village and activate the light blue segment with the staff icon on it. Alright, but first let's make use of this. So as you can see, it uh, direct me from the origin stone to the totem. Alright, so let's click on the origin stone icon and let's make a priest. This is the icon of the priest and the priest required 2 iron and 8 wood. A lot of wood, so... Let's click. Any of your furlings standing close to a temple will generate twice as much mana for you as usual. Priests are also a great way to protect your village. They'll convert invading enemy furlings into one of your followers. I'm afraid we must leave your training there for now. I've just learned that the enemy has begun invading our lands. You must help us fight back. Oh. Alright guys, so uh, thank you for watching, this was it.